When Chief Executive Donald Jung laid out proposals to revitalize Central during this year's policy address, one of the buildings he put particular emphasis on was the former police married quarters. The 90-year-old building was once the home of the chief executive and is now earmarked to become a performing arts venue and gallery. That will become reality this coming November when the Hong Kong ambassadors of design will turn the now derelict building into something like this. It will be the main anchor venue of Detour 2009, a series of events to spread arts and culture around the city from the 26th of November to the 9th of December. At a press event for Detour, a graffiti artist painted his impression of the former police married quarters while we talked to some of the main architects behind Detour. Detour is a, is a series of uh, um, cultural design and arts related uh, happening um, in and around Hong Kong um, that we've started working on since uh, where it was started. It was launched um, back in 2005 and the Hong Kong Ambassadors of Design um, um, started to get involved with the, with the program as the organizer last year. We will have a series of um, different events, movie nights. Um, we will be um, hosting uh, an international uh, regional version of uh, Petra Kutcher Night, which we regularly do every few months. We are also engaging um, um, uh, a roster of very interesting designers um, to create um, guerrilla cafes, exhibitions, um, and also um, um, music and, and performances, and it, it, it just goes on. Uh, so hopefully two very interesting weeks for for, for the central Shangwan district. I think for a change, I think they should expect the expected because everybody knows what room 414 means. It's a very mysterious room. It's the home of a very important person, somebody that's the story of Hong Kong itself because it's a grassroots success story. Somebody from the, uh, the base of society rising to the very, very top. I think um, it'll be very exciting. For the South China Morning Post, this is Edwin Lee.